DJI Enterprise just released its new version of DJI Terra 5.0 and the most talked about brand new feature, they added Gaussian splatting. But what the drone is Gaussian splatting? The easy answer, it's just totally amazing. The more detailed answer, the main advantage over conventional 3D meshes and point clouds is the incredible combination of photorealism and real-time performance. Gaussian functions can represent very fine details and semi-transparent surfaces like hair, tree, leaves or smoke significantly better than traditional polygon-based textured meshes or simple point clouds. Quick dive for the nerds. Gaussian splatting thus represents a scene as a collection of 3D Gaussian functions. Each Gaussian function is an explicit primitive defined by its position, anisotropic shape and orientation opacity and color. So similar to neural network training, you can optimize these parameters iteratively using gradient descent to improve the rendering quality from your input images. Thanks to DJI, they finally made this mysterious tech hype, something we can all actually see and use from now. Reflective surfaces have always been a bit of a final boss in both photogrammetry and 3D laser scanning. You've probably noticed how vehicles, for example, often look like they've been run over by a heavy-duty transport. But with Gaussian splatting, you'll achieve a truly photorealistic rendering of solid surfaces even on those notoriously difficult, transparent, reflective or low texture materials. Another common issue arises with incomplete data or even the complete absence of detail on very fine, intricate structures. Think about fences, bicycle spokes or especially cables. The physical reasons are straightforward. We often just don't capture enough 3D points for these delicate features. However, Gaussian splatting takes a different approach, allowing us to generate a clear representation of these elements. All right, let's take off. I captured around 2,400 photos of this abandoned church, a real lost place. We'll cover how we actually capture these images with the drone in a separate video. So, for now, let's dive straight into the essential steps for creating a Gaussian Splat and 3D Mesh in DJI Terra. First up, we'll create a new project and select Visible Light, since we're working with RGB photos. Then, of course, give your project a fitting name. Now we'll add the photos, or the folder containing them. Immediately, you'll see our position data on the world map and every capture moment, assuming we flew with GPS. In my case, I even used high-precision RTK position data, which I can double-check for accuracy right here. For certain scenarios, we could also choose a template, but we'll skip that for now. We'll also keep the default settings for pre-processing or error triangulation. This is the first step in registering your photos to create a preview point cloud. To boost precision, we could use ground control points here, but I've opted not for this project. This is definitely worthwhile for surveying tasks. Next, we can set a coordinate system for georeferencing. And we'll stick with the standard GPS system. Photogrammetry software like DJI Terra often works with EPSG codes, but that's a whole science in itself. The 2D map function can also create a wonderful distortion-free 2D autophoto as a top-down view. The 3D mesh has been the standard we've often used. This is essentially the triangulated point cloud with original photo textures. I'd highly recommend always calculating this in the highly compatible OBJ or FBX format as well. The mesh can even be optimized later in DJI Modify if needed. Now we finally arrived at Gaussian splatting. When we flip the switch, Terra will first create the mesh and then immediately generate the Gaussian splat. Additionally, we can also export a pure colored point cloud in the usual suspect point cloud formats. 
I'd say let's start a reconstruction and let Terra do its magic. Depending on your photo input and hardware, the process might take a bit. But I have to say, Terra has one of the fastest engines I know. Our mesh is complete, and so is the Gaussian Splat. Let's take a look at the results together. First, the classic mesh. It's already fascinating how the integrated viewer can display incredibly complex scan data with high performance, thanks to its level of detail tile sets. As typical for DJI Terra, the mesh and its textures already look brilliant. However, you can also see that especially refined, intricate structures, individual artifacts are broken, completely missing, or seem to float as free particles in space. What's new now is the ability to switch between mesh and GS at the bottom of the view. You'll immediately notice that the trees especially look much more natural and realistic with Gaussian Splat. The lightning rod is also fully visible here. I really like that even in the Gaussian display you can still perform distance measurements, get position data and calculate areas. I'm super happy with these results. DJI Terra automatically saves the export data in your designated folder path. Here you'll find details as LODs and PLY format for Gaussian splats or for example our OBJ files with textures for the mesh. We can then load these into third-party software and share them with others. The result is a superior balance of realism, speed and creation effort which can even surpass conventional 3D meshes and point clouds in many applications. I am confident that we'll see some truly exciting developments in visual quality and surveying precision with DJI Terra 5.0. DJI Enterprise already offers a perfectly integrated ecosystem with FlightHub 2, DJI Terra and DJI Modify covering everything from mission planning to precise surveying and powerful visualization. Now with the introduction of Gaussian Splatting, a real game changer enters the scene, taking the work with point clouds and textured meshes to a whole new level. I'm excited to see how the platform continues to evolve and now have fun exploring it for yourself. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest DJI Enterprise releases. Got questions or experiences with DJI Terra 5.0? Share them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you.